Well, that's fucking awkward. What's up, player? You got, you got a little curb action to you over, huh? <laughs> Why'd you drop it? I tried to press the front brake because I was going to hit the curb, and then it went... Did you really? Yeah. Yeah, I, I came around that corner and I saw you go... I was like, oh, shit. And it was like, fuck, well, it's too late now. Then, I'm like, then I saw you say, fuck it. I'm like, oh, he's doing it for the gram. <laughs> well, you got sliders, all right? Yeah, ish. Did yeah, I put the emergency? Crash bar and <laughs> luggage. Why are my hazards on? Did I do that? Oh, I guess I did right before I dropped it. <laughs> Nothing to see here, folks. Somebody wants to... My bike is gonna roll me. You ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. She was looking <laughs> through the dawn with her finger <laughs> and her thumb <laughs> in the shape of an L on her forehead. What's up, guys? It's your boy Connor. It's your boy. It's your motherfucking boy. So we are running the old Bell Pro Tints, whatever Panovision. It's pretty dope. Uh, this video is gonna be relatively short, to the point, straightforward. There's not much to talk about other than the visor just being self-tinting. It's got photochromatic, fancy technology, whatever it is. It's pretty dope because I've run, I had a tinted visor, dark smoke on the Scorpion one that I ran. And then I swapped over to the mirrored, I think just this like middle, the end of this last year. And they're great because they look cool. The mirrored is pretty dope uh, just because you, it's reflecting everything off of you. It makes for great photos, especially from this perspective. But the only thing is that with the dark smoke and the mirrored is at night, <laughs> It's okay, you can see, but if you get caught in a rural road, brother, let me tell you what, you're going to be looking like uh, those dudes with the, the, the KKK guys in Django and Chain, where they're like, and I always think of that meme whenever I'm stuck in a dark road with a smoked visor, because it's like, I can't see shit right now, and bro, it's too true for that. Because there's times where it's like, oh, like one time we were coming back from Fredericksburg, coming down Sisterdale Road. And that's pretty much a two lane road. One, well, I guess one, like one each way lane of traffic. And I mean, there's just all kinds of wildlife out there during the day at night, bro. You see deer popping up left and right. It's pretty sketch. And when I first experienced that, uh, I was still, I think it was with my first year riding, year and a half, whatever. And I had the, the, dark smoke visor and with it being a dark rural road it was dark i might as well just had my eyes closed so i had my visor up it was like 50 degrees my face was pretty cold by the like middle of that ride and i was like oh bro so i don't really do many rural roads in generally like i'm mostly just you know ripping through the city on occasion it'll be going out through i'll be rolling let's say i-10 outbound like to kerrville etc and it gets pretty dark on the highway out there but you can still manage there's still portions of roads where there's just dark and you're kind of squinting. I squinted like you could actually see my eyes, but uh, to where it makes viewing on the road, you know, for hazard etc., pretty troublesome, especially if I commute to work in the morning. It's a pretty rural road. Cancel! And it's, there's times where I, I am pretty tired and if something were to pop out in front of me, it would probably not end well because I would probably run into it. Cancel. And, you know, I would either fall off my bike, kill something, like run into it. But with this, I've been on the fence to buy it for a while because it's pretty hefty. It comes in about $150. It's the second version. They had a previous one that they had, but it did okay for what it was. I think it was one of like the first ones out there. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is just going off like the knowledge and the, the stuff that I've seen. I haven't really researched it. 
but they were the first ones that I saw uh, when I first started looking at these. I looked on Amazon. There was another one. It wasn't the Pro Tint. It was something else. I think it was Panda or like Photochrome or something to where it was the same thing, but it took a little bit longer to tint, and it didn't get that dark. I, I'm pretty surprised at how dark this one gets, and I do like it because it's still rather mysterious, like, ooh, and, but you can still see the general outline of my face. It still maintains that little level of mystery. International man of mystery. What's up? The name's Connor. Connor Bond. Oh, his name's Bond. Connor Bond. Bond. James Bond. Mr. Bond, I suppose you wouldn't care to um, raise the limit? I have no objections. So, going back, it's $150. It's like, oh, brother. And I remember the first time I went to go ask about it, they said it was only with newer bells like the race stars, etc., And I was kind of discouraged. I was like, okay, well, there goes that idea. But then I looked again, like a week or two later, I came into, you know, tax refund. And I was like, oh, okay, let me, let me ball out real quick. And I started looking at the forums and some of the questions on Amazon for this visor. And people had said, as long as you have these little dots, like the, the shield system, in theory, it should work. And I don't know where I heard, I don't know if it was the dude at the store that told me it was only for race stars or for whatever it was. Uh, and so I went back and I said, hey, you have a visor. Is it cool if I bring my helmet in and then you can put it on and off? That way, you know, I don't mess anything up. And he goes, yeah, cool. And sure enough, it worked. And so now we're rocking it. Pretty much it works on the Bell Star, the Ray Star, and the Pro Star, which is neat. I think we passed our turn already. I think it was way back there. But essentially because for a while kind of go into the helmet style the race star i love it you know this is the race star it was a time a little different uh but since then i think within the year or two they made the only thing the main difference being the weight initially it was a couple smaller things with performance or you get the jade mesh liner and the antimicrobial blah 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 specs here bing bada bing bada boom and now it's essentially the stars get everything that's the same in the race star the jade mesh liner the antimicrobial blah 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 but the only thing is that the race star is slightly lighter than the star, but for $400 more. So you're looking at a race star about $800, let's say $700 and $900, depending on which model you get. Roland Sands Chief Edition is about $800. There's another one that's about $850, etc. But to where you can go ahead and just get the star for about $450, save yourself the $400. The one thing I really do like about these helmets is the lack of wind buffeting. It's pretty windy today. And my head is just relatively smooth. I had a couple other helmets where they looked really dope, but on days like this, it would kind of give me a head bobble, especially on the highway, on the toll road out here by Hutto. And if you've ridden the toll road, you know it gets pretty windy out there because it's pretty much just the highway and then that's it. You're nothing shielding you from the wind. It's just open highway and just, oh no, I'm getting blown away. So that definitely was, I, I was not a fan of it because if I had to commute all the way back to New Braunfels, my neck would be like, oh, it's windy, super windy days. Man, my neck would be in for a beating. So that was the first thing I really noticed. But with the, the one thing I really do enjoy about this is that you don't have to think twice. I still wear sunglasses because I ride with my visor open a lot of times. I really want to see maybe a multi-retention system from Bell on maybe the Star. I can understand the Race Star because it is geared more towards racing. You're either going to have it open or you're going to have it closed. Most chances if you're racing, it's going to be closed. Just that way, it protects you. And I saw something where the darker the tent, the more you focus or something. I don't know what it was, but it was pretty crazy. And it's meant to be in the three-quarter tuck position, kind of like, oh, yeah, look, I'm racing. Meow, meow, meow. But anyway, that's not here nor there. But I ride with it open a lot of times. So even if I had the, the clear lens, I ride with it open a lot. I have a set of clear glasses in my bag that I'll rock, and I'll just ride with it open if it's not too cold. This is how I ride most of it. If I'm on the highway, I close it. But it would be nice to see on their star family, maybe a multi-retention system to where you have it fully open. Then you have like a three-quarter, a half, a quarter. And then you have, this is city mode, where it's like kind of like you close it, but it's not fully closed. Then you snap it, and then it's boom, you're good. Hardly any wind gets in. I really do like these helmets. And with the addition of the self-tinting visor, it's a game changer. Because in the morning, when I have to commute to work, Usually head for work around 5, 5.30. It's dark. There's you know, no light. And with the dark smoke, I do like it. 
And it makes, it doesn't make it as strenuous on my eyes, as straining on my eyes in the morning when I'm kind of having to squint because one, I'm tired, and it also adds, it makes for better visibility on the darker country roads that I ride on. And so it lets me be a more aware rider should something pop out, should someone try to be like, oh, hey, let me slide on my brakes real quick, or something falls out of their car, whatever it is, and, you know, then I can be like, oh, snap, <laughs> etc. So I do like it. So we're heading out to bike night, the first bike night, over at Central Texas Harley Davidson. I'm pretty stoked because a lot of times I can never make it. There's always something going on, or I'm stuck at work. You can go, bro, in the Tesla. Yeah, yeah. And this is the first one I'm actually going to be able to make, so I'm pretty stoked. And then you'll see the visor be clear at that point. It's not going to be a different visor. It's the same one because you can see pro tint right here. And so we'll show. Let me go do like this. That way it's not like covered up. There's pro tint here on the tab. And but overall, I think it's a great investment just because of that. It's like having two visors in one. Now, one thing that I really, really hope to see. We're going to take a photo there in the blue bonnet, y'all, is... With the technology being where it's going, is maybe have a mirrored self tinting. That would be cool because the dark smoke's the cool visor, etc. But like we stated earlier, there's something about a mirrored visor, especially when you have the reflections of a lot of stuff going on and you have a photograph, etc. It just looks so amazing. There's this photograph that Cody took in Harupa Valley the other, uh, last year at Born Free that just looks so amazing. The visor just happened to kind of match with the background with what I was wearing, the Odin camo hoodie, etc. And it made for such an amazing photo. And you can't really capture that with a dark tinted visor. Sure, you could probably Photoshop a mirror visor in there, but it's not the same. You probably won't get some little random accidents that happen to happen in the that happen to occur in the photograph, like whether it be a reflection of something cool, etc. But just stuff like that. So I do hope to possibly see in the future. Um, you know, maybe a mirrored self-tinting visor. I don't know how far we are from that, but Bell, if you watch this, I'll let you boy. So we'll get to kind of come back to it after bike night. But before we cut away, just want to go ahead and say, shout out to Lindo Brakes. Lindo Brakes in the house. We finally got our rotors. They are not on because we did not want to rush the process and then mess it up or, you know, botch it, whatever. It's not the same thing, but not really because... What I'm thinking of, oh, stop, stop, nope, cancel, nope, and that, that was kind of weird, awkward. So we're trying to take, <laughs> that should be off, so we're going to take our time, we're going to end up making a video out of it, and pretty much just going to be straightforward, it's going to be quick, that it's just like, hey guys, we got the rotors, boom, shout out to Lindell, check out their Instagram, check out their website. But we're only going to be doing the front rotor for now, and adding their Z something, something, something brake pads, so that way it doesn't take away from the coating on the actual rotor itself because some of the other ones may be a little harsh uh, and so that way it'll scrape some of it off and we don't want to do that. We want to keep them looking good, keep them looking mint because we got that little rotors, y'all. And then once they go ahead and finish designing or fitting the rear brake pad for the new soft tails, then we'll go ahead and throw the rear one on. So we're going to be a little bit ghetto until that. We're going to be like, yo, we got that little rotors, y'all, on the front. Don't look at the back. It's like when someone has a dope-ass wheel in the front and they can't afford the rear, but they're just like, F it, I'm going to flex on them hoes and only take photos of, like, the front and not the back. But it is what it is, y'all. Super thankful, extremely excited for all these fresh photos that we're going to be taking uh, with the Lindell Rotors. So thank you to the team over at Lindell Brakes. And just let me know what y'all think. Are y'all run Lindell currently? Hmm. Interesting. Drop them down in the comment section below which one you're looking at, which ones do you like, catch your eye, what color patterns. The all black ones are dope. I remember we were looking at that one when we had the Dyna. Please don't crash into me. Not sure what's going on here.